very welcome back to everyone guys Proximan is back again with a new video so you are watching Takshashi Loss Proximan YouTube channel we are creative learners and myself Arya so guys today we are going to talk about Day Optics Delight Part 3 to understand this concept you have to understand the part 1 and part 2 of Day Optics which I have uploaded in our YouTube channel so as let us before going to start today's topic if you have any sort of doubts you can clarify those doubts about physics chemistry and biology in our instagram account that is at proximan triple dash and guys let us have a quick recap on the part two day optics lesson let's back It is called as incident ray and reflected ray. So here we have OA is the incident ray, ON is the normal, and OB is the reflected ray. And angle made by the incident ray with the normal is called incidence, angle of incidence, and angle made by the reflected ray with the normal is called as angle of reflection. So this was the loss concept. So let us begin our today's topic that is about laws of reflection and also we are going to discuss about angle of deviation so guys laws of reflection so there are two laws law one is very very easy and law two is quite confusing and i have made it easy with our visual diagram technique so let us start with law one it states that angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection so guys, it's very simple. You understood if the, you understood this law within the sentence itself. So they are saying that angle of incidence means it is made by the incident ray with the normal is always equal to the angle made by the reflected ray with the normal that is angle r. So angle i is equal to angle r. They are saying for example. If I took angle of incident 30 degree with the normal, then the reflected ray makes an angle 30 degree with normal. So this is how first law works. And let us move to the second law. Second law states that the incident ray, the reflected ray, and the normal to the mirror all lie on the same plane. This doesn't sound good. So to understand this. I have made a very easy trick so you must have to know about some graphical methods you know two dimensional graphs that have x and y axis and there is a concept of 3d geometry which ha also has z axis so, so in 3d geometry the plane made by the x y axis is known as x y plane the plane made by the x z axis is known as x z plane and in the similar way the plane made by yz axis is known as yz plane so incident ray reflected ray and the normal to the mirror all lie on the same plane means at a point in space or at a point of reflection on any reflecting surface all lie on the same plane that is on xy plane as you can see in the visual diagram so they always fall on the same plane they are meeting at xz plane but they are lying on xy plane as you can clearly see here as you can clearly see they are on xy plane and they are meeting at xz plane here so the thing is what they all lie on in the xy plane on the same plane so this state this is stated by the second law so it is not like that that incident on the other plane and uh, normal is on another plane and the third one that is reflected there is on another plane so they all are lying on the same plane itself that is stated by second law so this is how we understand the concept by our visual diagram technique guys and let us understand the two laws within this single 
visual diagram so here we have the first law says that angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection it means the angle made by the incident ray with the normal and angle made by the reflected ray with the normal both are same and all the three incident ray the reflected ray and the normal to the mirror or any reflecting surface all lie on the same plane so let us understand first law of reflection in more easier manner with some example so when a incident ray makes an angle 30 degree with the normal it always gets reflected back with 30 degree making 30 degree with the normal so if it makes an angle 60 degree with the normal then it gets reflected back in 60 degree itself if it makes an 80 degree with the normal in the same manner it will reflects back and the thing here is when it makes 0 degree with the normal it means it is perpendicular to the plane mirror then it gets reflected back in the same direction from which it came it means if the angle between the normal and the incident ray must be 0 degree or the incident ray must be perpendicular to the reflecting surface then only it will get reflected back in the same direction from where it had come so let us start the important topic of today's session so it is about angle of deviation so as whenever an incident ray travels in unidirection without any deviation by any obstacles it will travel in in the same path whenever we place a reflecting surface or any mirror it will get reflected back in some other direction so we have to find at how much angle it is bent or how much angle it is changed its direction original direction so that states the angle of deviation means how much it is deviated or how much angle through it is deviated from its original path so we always consider it with respect to its original path means how much it is deviated from its original path means the angle to which it is deviated from its original path so guys so guys it is the angle of deviation that angle is considered to be delta delta and these two angles angle of incidence and angle of reflection is considered to be theta so we have given a formula that is delta is equal to 180 degree minus 2 theta so let's let's understand this formula so let us understand this formula so when our a light ray incident light ray travels in a straight line with any obstacle it is almost 180 degree right and when we place a plane mirror or any reflecting surface it will get reflected back in some other direction with making some delta angle means angle of deviation angle of deviation it makes so we have to find this angle so in order to find this angle we must know these two angles so they will there will be given that so this is a straight line so it is 180 degree minus 2 theta two times of theta so this is same as this so they have given 2 theta so this is how this formula came means to in order to find this angle we need to minus 2 theta from 180 degree so let us understand the definition of angle of deviation so it states that angle through which incident light gets turned through from its original path due to reflection which is caused by the reflecting surface so as as we know without reflection it would it would have traveled in a straight line or in a unidirectional path but due to the reflecting surface it changed some direction that is we are calculating in terms of angle so angle through which incident ray or incident light gets turned through from its original path so that is said to be angle of so that general formula is delta is equal to pi minus 2 theta as i earlier said 
So what actually the pi here? So the pi here is nothing but 180 degree. 180 degree is considered to be pi. Yeah. <laughs>